Hi everyone, Tim here from CNY Farm Supply in Cortland, New York, representing the Rock Hay Mergers. And this short video is an overview of the RT1220, Rock's largest machine they have to offer with a working width of 35 and a half feet, which features four head sections for maximum flotation and contour with the ground. Like all the other models available from Rock, this machine is based off of simplicity. With a short overall wheelbase, chromed axles, lightweight but top of the line parts, the overall weight on this machine, 13,000 pounds. It also has the heaviest plastic wear strips on the market. Rock runs a metal spring tine, which actually has two bends to it here. They also put a bearing in between each band to help with the heavier material sliding through. Removable belt sections, so you don't have to replace the entire belt, just a 12 inch piece at a time if you ever rip one. Metal bars in between each section. Outside drive cogs here always tension on those so no belt slippage. As many of you know, Rock runs idler wheels on each head. We have four per section that are all on an idler system. It's about 1,100 pounds in floating position, so you're only putting about 250, 300 pounds per wheel to the ground. All the rest of the weight is on the flotation tires here in the back, and it does have skid shoes on each head just to prevent when you drop down into holes. From the back of the machine, you can see that the RT1220 runs dual flotation tires on both sides. These cylinders are dual acting hyper pneumatic cylinders. So when you're in float and running the machine, you also have suspension built into it. Like all the other machines, LED lights complete. Tail lights, blinkers, marker lights, even lights shining down on the belts. Everything is LED and a built in strobe light up on top here. This particular unit was ordered with the accessory of an auto lube system. Very easy to use. It comes with a tool to inject a tube of grease right into it. Auto lube on this machine starts up after one hour and will give a small push every eight minutes. And it's a nice clean system. You can see from looking at the lines and stuff, it's very simple. Here's a close up of the control box for the RT1220. Just like all the other models, this thing is extremely easy to use. You can see that uh, the only switches on here are power on and off. The second one is for your strobe light in the back. The third one is for the LED lights which shine down on your belts. And the fourth switch here is for your auto features which turn the belts on and off as you raise and lower the machine. Uh, this joystick here is simply just for belt control. So you have left, you have right, you can split it, and then you can split three to one and also to the other side here. And remember that all the machines have a fail safe system. So if your control box is not working, if you have a blown fuse, uh, you can simply turn your PTO on. Everything will automatically turn on and merge to the right. You do not need a control box to run this machine. And also from this view, you can see the very simple two point hitch system, uh, very easy to hook up. And you have three sets of remotes. You have your right wing, your left wing, and then raising and lowering the machine here. And that's it. Okay guys, here's a quick video of the machine running. I'll flip on my PTO here. You'll see that the head will automatically turn on. And from my control box, I'll get the belts running. Right now I have the joystick in the center, so we're splitting half one way, half the other. Now I can flip so we can all merge to the right, all merge to the left, and then we can split three to one side, three to the other side, and we'll shut the belts back off. Now I'll put this machine in the auto feature, and I'll merge it to the right. And you can see when I put the machine into float, as we get close to the ground, the belts will automatically turn on. So now if you're merging your windrow, you get to the end of the windrow to make your corner, we're gonna raise the machine back up and the belts will automatically turn back off. So you can make your corner, set it back down, turn your belt on again. If I rev this thing up, you can see I can change my belt direction. You don't need to idle down for any reason to do that. Very simple. <laughs> Lastly, we want to show you the fail safe system. You can see that I have power on my box right now. But if we completely unplug our control box and then we'll turn on the PTO here, I have no power to the box anymore. You'll notice that everything turns on and automatically starts running. And I still have access to lower and raise the machine because remember, you're using one hydraulic remote for that, and the other two to raise and lower your wings. So no downtime. That's the fail-safe system. 
So there you go, guys, a real quick overview of the Rock RT1220. Thanks for tuning in.